In the past, tablets used to be a true luxury item, the kind of thing brought down from mountains by Moses and the rest of the profit crowd. But nowadays, everyone and their mum owns a tablet computer, and the market is absolutely saturated with different makes and models. So the Encore, Toshiba's latest attempt to muscle in on the market, has an uphill battle ahead of it, even though all the specs seem really positive. So I'm here with the Toshiba Encore, a Windows 8.1 8-inch tablet. It's got a 1280 by 800 resolution screen, a really bright screen with wide viewing angles, so great for sharing content with friends or family. It's uh, got an Intel Atom processor, a quad-core processor. It's a really powerful device, easily able to run multiple applications, great for web browsing, look at your social media feeds on Facebook or Twitter, or, or various other applications such as Skype. With the shelves already crammed full of tablets, Toshiba need to come up with a smart way to show off their new machine. So they've teamed up with Inition, a production company that specialises in using emerging technologies to create unique interactive experiences and installations. And at an event in London, they showed us how they've combined augmented reality, 3D scanning and virtual reality with the Toshiba Encore to really show off the power of the machine. First up was an augmented reality program that allowed a virtual BMW car to move around a real environment while being controlled by keyboard. Inition have already used this tech on a much larger scale to do outdoor installations, but this was the first time that they'd used a tablet to run the program, and they even used the 8 megapixel camera on the back to capture the images. But that was just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what Inition had planned for the event. So today we've been using a white light scanner from Artic. Uh, it's a device that runs uh, solely on Windows based platforms uh, and it's a white light scanner. We've been using it to create likenesses of people here and um, produce some album artwork for them. We've, uh, we're, we're using the Encore tablet to manipulate and view that content um, whilst our, one of our 3D artists uh, works on uh, software in the background to produce the artwork. The Encore's been really good for us here. As professional users, we're locked into Windows-based uh, applications and we've never had something that can extend those onto a tablet before. And it wasn't Inition's only first at the event. The last thing we saw was the brilliant Oculus Rift virtual reality headset being used in conjunction with Encore to make a fool out of the people using it. <coughs> well, it was that and also this. We're showing how the Encore's got enough graphics processing grunt to handle sort of demands of virtual reality. Um, and what it's got to be doing is, is rendering two different views, one for your left eye and one for your right eye but also responding quickly enough that, that when you turn your head, the world keeps up with you, which is a very important aspect of any sort of um, good virtual reality experience. We got to try two different Oculus demos out. The first, the Tuscan Villa, was a leisurely stroll through some sunkist architecture that felt truly immersive, while the second was a skydive simulator created for Nissan that was exhilarating, even if it did mess up your hair. But the coolest thing about it all is that by using the Encore, there's the potential to make virtual reality a portable experience. The ability to um, untether yourself from a big box in the, in the corner of your room is, is certainly appealing to virtual reality where the display device is very, very small. So it seems a shame that you have to be tethered to one position. So it's, it's definitely a future of virtual reality, yeah. Our time Inition showed us that despite their small stature, tablets like the Toshiba Encore are capable of some really surprising things, making them much more than just places to play Flappy Bird.